Hello everyone, welcome back to Curse the Dawn Late Night Gaming. Thanks for visiting the channel again. Um, well, cargo, that's the um, big word of the day. And we are currently a rookie. I'm trying to get above that. I have done one mission with the Caterpillar. And I thought I'd do one here tonight. Um, they're pretty simple missions. They are just... You can see here hauling this one here 14,000 so you go pick up a bunch of aluminum up at the uh, space station and then deliver it now yesterday when I did this I ran into a couple problems um, one of them was I decided not to take the walker with me and the caterpillar is Challenging to load. <laughs> Say it like that. You kind of need challenging. Let's put. It, let me put it differently. Challenging to load solo. Um. You kind of need to have multiple people you can kind of like hand it off to because none of these panels lower down to the ground for you to lift anything. And so I'm curious if I can lift that into the cat. I pretty sure I can but I'm not positive so I didn't take that with me and then also we've got the um, barricade event going on right now which was running at the space station so I was under fire while coming in and um, yeah barely got in there they started firing at me as I left as well but um, I could just, I just quantumed out of there quickly and got out, but. Um, let's see here. Nope, this is, I don't need to go up to the captain's section. I just want to bring the Atlas. Is that what it's called? Is that how it's pronounced? Atlas? There's no A. So, so yeah, I want to bring the Atlas in here. Um, let's see if we can. I haven't tried to pick it up with this. Sure can. I kind of thought you'd be able to. It's like... The Caterpillar also has its own tractor beam, but it has limited use, I would say. It's it needs to be kind of reworked. I'm not and I'm quite honestly not sure how they are gonna rework it. I'll show it to you here in a second. But we can try it when we get there, if we get there. Wow, this is reeling it in really slowly and I can't lift it up. It's coming in, I guess. What do I care? All right. Um, let's go ahead and accept that mission before it's gone. Oops. Here we go. Oh, God. Buttons. This is the one. Aluminum, 89, yes. So that's more than my black can hold. My black holds 40 something. So this is the only thing I have big enough to carry that stuff. Um, let's see here. Do I need anything else? Got the walker. Uh, I don't think so. I think that's all you need. I probably could have just went up the ladder, could I? I don't know the ship very well yet. So yeah, I'll I'll show you the tractor beam here in a bit. Um, is the come on? Okay. 
Okay. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake Interplanetary Craft. Your systems are online. No VTOL mode yet. It sure seems like there would be. It seems like those outer ones would turn down, but they're a little too big to do that, actually. <clears throat> Get situated here. She's heavy. It is a heavy ship. Now we're probably going to need to, at least in the last, there, there was just a hotfix update. I don't know what that entailed. Um, we may have to go in and manually set it rather than just pointing here. That the way it, that's the way it was unfortunately working before. Um, but it's going to take us a while to get up through the atmosphere here. Because the big ship... Yeah, it's unfortunate how it doesn't have anything that goes down to the ground other than the ramp to get on. So it's another week and another batch of controversy with Inside Star Citizen. The topic this week was engineering and that career path. Um, I really feel that all of these career paths, cargo and master modes and engineering, all of these are fine as long as they don't force themselves onto people who don't want to play that play style. You know what I mean? Um, and unfortunately, they bleed into each other. And I think that is what's causing the conflict. Because people, like, for instance, they don't want to do cargo. I don't want to do cargo. Well, cargo is pretty cool because it has options. Hey, it did. It just... It just just let me um, target it. That's good. Improvement. Um, cargo, you can supposedly, I couldn't see how to do it, but at least this is their plan, is that you don't have to manually load everything. There's going to be a bit where you pay something, and um, I found it unloading um, my own stuff, like SCUs from the Vulture. I saw it there. I didn't see it in a mission. But then, of course, if you're not into that, um, I guess you wouldn't take a mission. But So they have that so that you can just auto-load and just pay a fee. But then they go and they take away local inventories at locations and mining facilities and, and getting armor out of a little armor crate on the ground is all such a gigantic task so that's taking this cargo update and influencing other people that don't want to play that game style so they they're like i just want to play the way it was and that's not an option for them anymore and, and quite honestly when it comes to that um loading up 
armor boxes. It is really annoying when you're in a mining Thank facility you. and you see a nice chest piece and you're like, oh, I want that. And you, it of course doesn't fit in your backpack. And they're like, well, you have to carry a crate with you. Um, mining facilities are armistice zone locked. You can't get a gun out, a tractor beam out to even haul around a crate that I've seen. So that means you have to throw it on the ground if it lets you and then pick it up and carry it to the ship. And then let's say there's a um, chest piece and um, some legs in the chest, in the, in the loot box. So you have to go all the way back again and pick that up and haul it out one by one. And it's really, really annoying. And then that's when, like, that starts bleeding into people that, you know, I'm fine that people that have the attitude that it's fine that there is a cargo change, but as long as it doesn't influence me. And I think that is the same for um, engineering and these keeping your ship running thing. All of a sudden, solo players are gonna be busting their butts, you know. I'm gonna get off to the side here just a little to make it maybe just a little bit easier. Um, try the old switch over to combat mode so that I get the shields up in case the boxes are banging around but you know I have seen that really that hasn't been a big problem so yeah so engineering if I'm doing this solo thing and somebody starts shooting at me all of a sudden I have fires I have things that I have to deal with by myself plus you're pretty much just dead you know, because you can't do everything. So when I bring up the comment that that kind of screws with the ease of use and playability, I get, you know, the fanboys, which is not my favorite people. And um, so I get things like, this has been the plan since the start. I hear that a lot. This has been the plan from since the beginning. Nobody cares, dude. Nobody gives a crap what the plan since the beginning was 10 years ago. You know? That's not important, unfortunately. What is important is that you want people playing the game. and buying the game and buying ships and keeping the, the game running. That's what's important. And whatever was promised 10 years ago, who, who cares? Who cares? Do what changes need done now. And they're like, well, then they're going back on their word. Yeah, because in this day and age, honor is just such a huge thing. Nobody goes back on their word anymore, right? No, you just don't want... You, realistically, you do not want to um, isolate your fan base. Um, you get these new players coming in going, I have to do absolutely everything? What? This sucks. Refund. And I'm not saying we want to go down the route of uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, they dumbed that game down so much that it's just mind-numbingly boring now. And I was a fan since the beginning. But now it's just like... Target enemy, cycle through your normal shots. Target enemy, cycle through your normal shots. 
repeat, 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 repeat. It's just so, so, so dull. I was shocked to hear that their plan is to, um, yeah, see all these big giant boxes. I was shocked to hear that their plan is to allow us to sleep in the hangars, log out in the hangars. I was blown away because again, that's a break in realism, right? You're so, you don't sleep at the airport. You go home. So I'm surprised they even are allowing something like that. What's happening? Oh, what's happening? Going back to area 18. Huh. You know, it's not very helpful if I have to walk over here. So you need two people. You need someone up in there picking them up. Uh, okay, let's let me get out of here a second.
Take a look at the tractor beam on the caterpillar. So the caterpillar is for sale right now, three hundred thirty dollars. If you play the, um, there is a pirate event right now over on. Arena Commander. If you go over there and do that, um, you can have an option to buy the pirate version for pirate for regular price so that doesn't sound like much of a deal it's like oh good it's a skin it is not a skin if you look at the pirate version of one of these um, in your vehicle loadout there's no skin that is the pirate skin it's a total it's a different ship what that difference is is like some red paints and some different interior but it is a different ship it's not a paint job um, and if you go on the gray market, where is where people buy ships somewhat illegally on Star Citizen, the pirate version of the Caterpillar is about seven hundred and fifty dollars. So three hundred and thirty for it is quite a bargain, actually. Um, if you look at it in that kind of light, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Turn this on. Okay, you got a screen, sometimes you don't. If you don't get a screen, you're not gonna get control. So it's good when you got a screen here. Enter remote turret, here we are. Now we're on we're right under the wing. Um is this gonna reach anything? Um, yeah, so the question I would have is once you get a hold of something, how do you get it in there? You're looking at everything from the side. It's not a front on view. Pretty much what this is for is grabbing stuff and bring it up in front of these doors so that other people in the ship can move it around. Um, it's not meant for you to stack things from here, I don't think. Unfortunately. So, yeah. Kind of a bummer. Sucks. Yeah, getting things off the pad is weird. So you see how close you have to be? Watch. Dink. Now I'm able to move. Maybe it's because of that. Maybe it's because it isn't here. Let's try that. Let's just let's do a little testing. Let's be QA for a second. Okay. So these are outside of the freight elevator. Yep. We can reach these from here. Yeah, it's something about the elevator. So I wonder if when you're inside, um, yeah, it's 
see? That's weird. So I wonder if the walker isn't broken after all, and it's just the whatever's in here. It's a little scary because those, what the um, caterpillar is sitting on right now is like a door because it opens up. It's like a pad that opens up. So sometimes you set down your SCU and it disappears down through the floor, down through the floor. And it's like, oh my God. And then it pops back up again. It's like, holy crap. You know, if that went down there, you're screwed. Mission over. And then we got one baby here to, run to even out the load, I guess. I don't think a regular one will. Um, just out of curiosity now, I want to see. with that uh, freedom. Yeah, I got in a bit of an argument with someone about this thing. Um, I said, they were talking about people are complaining that this is a money grab. And I'm like, yeah, of course it is. And they're like, no, it's not a money grab. And I'm like, what is not a money grab about this? They lock it out from other people to get it until, unless you're going to pay for it. Money grab. That's what it is. Definition of a money grab. Something people would really need for what they're doing, and they hold it so that you can't buy it in game. That's straight up a money grab. And they said no. That they do that with every ship that comes out new. Every time something new comes out, they hold it in the store for three months hold it from the store for three months. And I'm like, yeah, what do you think that is for? It's a money grab. That's why they do it. 
so that the people with FOMO um, freak out and feel they need to get it now. got this mission needs 70 or was it 89 SCU or something like that it's like wow that's that's a lot of hauling instantly in your mind you're just like that's gonna take a while but with this thing it's not and plus the SCU you get isn't just isn't just um, one by one by one it's bigger bigger boxes $14,000 contract. Oops, wrong way. Click that. It's like doing weird stuff. Whoa. Okay. Um, let's take a look and see if there's any damage to the ship with all that stuff banging around. It's not going to even let us look. Okay. Awesome. Awesome.
ahead of time, I need to, let's make sure to get this assigned in case there's gunfire out there. Um, contract, which, which one are we going to? We're going to Wide Forest Station. Okay. So back to the map. Um, wide Forest Station. Obstructed. I love that. I love that. It's like, I would say that's why probably one of my biggest pet peeves about the game is that a ship computer doesn't know how to get around things. A spaceship computer doesn't know how to get around obstructions. My GPS gets around obstructions. Um, okay. I don't hear any gunshots. Yeah, we look clear here. Let's see if we can do it again. Why is it obstructed? Uh, I don't know why it's obstructed. Are we still obstructed? Let's take a look. Come on. Oh my god, this thing. <sighs> at least at least get that, right? Yeah, it's like the objective marker gets in the way. Okay, I'll bring you guys back once we get there. Okay, we are here. I'm going to switch this through now about stuff. It's always really murky out here. I haven't tried the barricade missions. I don't know uh, what they're like, but I did do the... Um, pirate mission in um, 
Arena Commander. Wasn't that hard. I used my lightning. And they wouldn't make it hard, would they? Because the reward is <laughs> to be able to buy the pirate gladius and the pirate um, caterpillar. That's the reward. So they don't want to deny people giving them money. <laughs> so it's not going to be that hard. I didn't expect it to be hard. I was like, eh, it's, it's probably not going to be that difficult. And it wasn't. I got third place, <laughs> if that's any indication how well I did. I died once, one time. You get four tries, five tries, so they're very forgiving. Um, so even if you're not interested, the Gladius 110, that's how much it costs in the store, 110, once you unlock it. And um, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's uh, the regular Gladius is 90. So you are paying a little bit extra for the paint. And that one is a paint job. It is. You can uh, take it off and it's a regular Gladius. Dif different loadout. Um, okay, let's see here. There's not a lot of activity here. It shouldn't take me too long. Yeah, gateway granted. I have had it before where it says I'm in a queue waiting to get entry to my hangar. So. But if that's what it takes for us to get personal hangers, I'm down with it. That's fine. Personal hangers are just a joy. So. Now the problem with the caterpillar that I've had doing this is that by the time I get up here to the gate to get in, they're already like, oh, he's not showing up and they start closing the gate on me because it's so slow. I have had that happen. Because now these hangar spots are premium, you know. Everybody wants one, so they don't want them just hanging out for no reason. See, there we go, right there. I need some patience, guys. I'm hailing again. I understand why they do it, but if you hail too far out, you're going to need to keep your head on your shoulders or you're going to get your ship closed in on. further but yes.
There we are. Everything's open now. See that? That's scary. Did it just drop it? Does it? Okay, good. it out of there like Jesus give me that As you can see, all that banging we did last time getting these things in here didn't hurt the ship at all. Well, I guess we couldn't check. Could we? That's right, we didn't let it check. We could be on the verge of exploding right now. I don't know it. This thing just makes it so much faster. I didn't, like I said, the last time I tried this with the caterpillar. Um, I didn't bring this with me. I just did to use the uh, gun, tractor beat, and rifle thing, and uh, it took forever. A lot longer. on top. Doesn't matter. And that's all there is to it. That was it. Not bad. 
Um, they're empty, right? Yep. Is that down? Yep. Complete. That always makes me nervous. Every mission in the whole game doesn't have to be hauling. Any mission. I'm always scared it's not going to complete. Just out of experience, you know. Okay, I call that in. That's it, we got paid. Um, we got paid, mission complete, everything's done, everything's good. No problems. Yep, you're in and everything's cool. Okay, good. Yeah, I could have went up the ladder. I don't like climbing ladders. It's, it's, I don't know. It's kind of clunky, you know what I mean? There we go. Now let's see if this place will let us check. Do we have any damage? We do not. All that banging around, no damage. Okay, we can just top these up. Don't really need to, but... Come on. Come on. No service. Okay. Wow, that took a while. And then we're headed back to Area 18. And there's a route available. Wonderful. Okay. Let's be honest, these missions aren't very profitable compared to other things in the game, like just taking the vulture out or doing cargo missions where you go buy a gold somewhere and bring it somewhere else and sell it somewhere. Those are way more profitable. But this isn't that hard and it's kind of interesting and easy. And um, let's see here. Are we now any higher rank? And that's kind of a fun thing too, is like you move up in rank of contracts. We're still a rookie, we might be. Rookie, 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 we sure are. Still a rookie. Oh, we're getting there. Anything higher than 16? I don't think so. I don't know what the, uh, how many contracts you gotta do. I've done three four history hauling four I've done four so not sure when that flips over okay everyone thank you so much for joining me 
We gotta close the doors, don't we? Let's do that. Oh, I pushed it. All right, everything's shut. All right, so thanks for, so much for joining me tonight. Um, yeah, I kind of like the cargo loop. What do you guys think of it? It's uh, fun and interesting. I think it gives you kind of this feeling. I know that some people don't like it because they said they work all day and then come home and they don't want to work more. I get that, totally understand. My job is not hauling cargo, so I don't have that problem. <laughs> there is uh, also trucking simulator for those people. <laughs> they want to really torture themselves, but um, yeah, I like it. I think it's fun. Um, I don't think you guys necessarily want to have me watch me do every cargo mission I plan on playing around with. And, and so what I'll do is Kind of do these on the side and when i move up and rank i'll bring you along for one of those missions that are higher up in the meantime there is i saw there are eight racing missions now i have the m50 and um so there's always just been the one over there in lauraville now there's eight so we might want to check some of those out also there's the barricade event i uh, might try that and then just for the hell of it i might go back and do that um pirate swarm mission again over there on arena commander and, and bring you guys along for that because that i have never really played arena commander before if you haven't it's kind of fun it's it's there's it's kind of it's not bad so anyway thanks for joining me there's a like i say there's always a new video every friday and please feel free to check out my second channel curse twitch which is me playing other games like rika and um Branch Simulator and System Shock Remake and just other games that aren't Star Citizen related. Or you can follow me on Twitch. So curse the dawn over there to curse the dawn everywhere. All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.